What is up Stack and Ohana? This is Aloha Stacker and welcome back to the channel and another video. And in today's video, I'm bringing you my updated Mandalorian silver coin and bar collection. So what we'll do is we'll start with the ones that I already have that you've seen before. We'll, we'll go ahead and start with this one right here. And this right here, let's go ahead and do a zoom, is the Mythosaur. And this right here is a 2020 Nui $2 coin made by the New Zealand Mint. And that is the man, uh, that is the uh, symbol of the Mythosaur as part of the Mandalorian series, the Big Beast. Now this only had a mintage of twenty five thousand, but I was able to pick one of those up. And in fact, that was my first uh, Mandalorian uh, coin. As a matter of fact, uh, this one's not Mandalorian specifically, but it is my only other Star Wars coin that's not in the in the uh, Mandalorian series. And this is my Darth Vader. This is a two hundred fifty thousand mintage, and this is also uh, got Queen Elizabeth on it. It's also a twenty eighteen Nui two dollars. And it's got a image of Darth Vader with his lightsaber. So you've seen that before, no big deal. Let's go ahead and fix uh, our boy Mandalorian right here. He likes to keep falling because he doesn't stand up straight for whatever reason, and he's still falling for whatever reason. There we go. <laughs> and the last but not least on these three is the Beskar bar. Now this is a 2020 Beskar bar, the first year that they made these. One troy ounce, 99 fine silver. This had a mintage of, let's see, 50,000. So 50,000, uh, and I picked that up. I missed out on the 10 ounce. I should have gotten it. It's kind of a bummer that I didn't, but uh, but that's okay. No big deal. So there it is right there. Nice little Beskar bar. Now let's go to the collector coins. Now the first one I got of the series was this one right here. We'll zoom out and there is the, the box that it came in. So we'll go ahead and go through the boxes really fast and try to get you a nice view of the coins. Came in this really neat box. You open it up. Comes with a little certificate of authenticity. This only had mintages of 2,000, but what we'll do is we'll go ahead and pull it out and show you just a reminder of what the coin actually looked like. So here it is right here. We'll zoom in. There's the Mandalorian. It's colorized, but it's got a cool colorization because it only did the Mandalorian himself. And on this side, they're all newy, $2. Uh, I'm not going to show the back anymore. It's just kind of a... You guys know those are already there, and that's pretty much on every Mandalorian coin is a uh, newy coin. So. so there's the Mandalorian. So we'll go ahead and put that here. And then the second one in the series that I picked up was Cara Dune. So let's go ahead and pull Cara Dune out. Same box, same everything, and here is Cara Dune. So we'll go ahead and pull that up closer and give you guys a very nice looking view. There's Cara Dune, same colorization style, where basically has a... Uh, her colorized in the background, not colorized. Nui as usual. I'm not sure, like I said, I wasn't going to show that again, but I did because I forgot. <laughs> but here we go. Go put that up. So let's go ahead and zoom back out. And there's the two. So that is what I had prior to. But I have added so much more. So I can't wait to show you. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. Now, these all have a 2000 mintage. So I got the third one in the series. That was IG-11. They come in these really neat boxes. They all look, uh, the, the first four in the series all kind of look the same. Um, Who did I order this from? Okay, so let's go ahead and pull the box out and we will show you IG-11. If you've seen the series, you know that IG-11 is the droid. And here we go, let's go ahead and pull it out and take a look at it. So there is IG-11 right there. We'll go ahead and zoom. Same cool concept, colorized, colorized the droid, background silver. Back is the same, not even gonna bother with it. So very cool. So that's the third coin in the series. Now this original series only had four coins total. It had Mandalorian, Cara Dune, IG-11, and Grogu. But I had a hard time getting Grogu because it sold out so fast. So before I got Grogu, I was able to pick up... Actually, no, let's forget it. We'll just go straight to Grogu. Last 2000. So this is... Uh, I think this is it right here, right? Yep. Here we go. And I got this from Dragon Stacks, I believe. And here is Grogu. Very... This one was the most popular of the series, had the highest value, so it was the hardest to get because I missed out on it. Uh, the problem was the New Zealand Mint will not ship to me, uh, so I have to get the secondhand market, so I usually get it off a seller on Instagram. So I know Big Bear Coins helped me out a lot of the Dragon Stacks helped me out of that, so this was the so this was the last of the four coin series, so we'll go ahead and zoom out real quick so you can see. Let me see if I can set this up to where you can see all four of the original colorized coins. Let's see if I can move you just a little bit. There we go. So there you go. There you have it. Those are the four. All 2,000 minted. Uh, all sold out. But I have all of them. So that, co that completes the collection of those. But 
they continued making more coins. So, of course, I continued buying more coins. So let's go ahead and take a look. The next one I got was a Mandalorian coin. Now, this one came in a little bit different box. It comes in a box like this. And these, these coins don't have color to them. This is a coin without color. So let's take a look if I get out of the box. <laughs> it's, it's fighting me. Okay, it comes in a ni the same style, nice looking box. But then it comes with, uh, of course, the certificate of authenticity. Let's go ahead and take a look, see. We'll zoom in so we can get the best effect. And there's the Mandalorian right there. And you got, looks like you got a little Jawa right there. So this is pretty neat. So there you go. There's a good view of the coin. Same, but this is our 2021s. So that's a Mandalorian. So we'll go ahead and set that down. Then I picked up a second one, and this is a Grogu. These also only had 2,000 minted, by the way. Or, er, let me see. Uh, yeah, 2,000 minted. No, the Mando. So this one actually had 5,000 minted. So they actually increased the mintage on this to 5,000 from New Zealand Mint. Then I picked up this one, and this one is... Let's get this, back. this is a Grogu. Right there. So take a look at that. Now the Grogu has 5,000 minted as well. So these ones that don't have the color on them had a higher mintage of, so they moved them from 2,000 to 5,000 in 2021 for, it looks like the second series they decided to do. So we'll go ahead and zoom at that. So we'll go ahead and put that up. And I'll show you the last one, which is really cool. This one is neat though. This one is a little bit different than the regular series. So this one is Grogu one ounce silver coin, but this one does have color and it comes in a really neat box. Let me zoom out just so you can get an idea what the box looks like. Here's the box. You kind of, you open it like this and then you have right here, Grogu. Now this is kind of neat. Let me pull this out so you can we can get a better look at it because it's really it's a really unique little uh, coin. So take a look at that. See how it's uh, it's raised. So it's pretty neat. So Grogu comes in his little pod that he was moving around in. This is a 2022. So this is uh, this year. So we have the 2021s, the 2022s. So so that's pretty cool, right? I think I like that one a lot. This one actually, when I saw this, I'm like, I have to get this one. This one actually is so unique, and I like how it has the little dings and notches on there. I mean, they really went all out on the detail on this, so I think it's pretty cool. So we'll set that down. But that's not what I want to show you. But, this, but I have something even cooler to show. Now this one, oh, by the way, this one has a, a mintage of 10,000. So this one they didn't, they, they minted quite a few more on, I think because of just the popularity of the show and the coins and the collector series. People are buying them, so they're making more. Why what? Who, who would do that, of course? But let's go ahead and take a look at the last pieces of my Mandalorian collection, and these are the Beskar bars from 2022. So we start with a 2022 one ounce bar. We'll zoom in on that, one ounce. And it's still in the Atmex packaging because Atmex seemed to get the uh, monopoly on this one when they first came out. So there it is. Let's take a look at, uh, let's go take a look at the 2021 20, Beskar bars and see if we can notice any significant differences. So we've got this side, so there we go. Take a look at that. Then on this side we have 2021, and then this side 2022. So let's see if we can make the, clear that up. Sorry for all the glare, guys. I uh, have to open all the windows today. It's starting to get hot here again, so I'm trying to keep it cool so I can make these videos more smoothly. But take a look at that. So we've got 2021, 2022, pretty much identical. So the cool thing is that the only change is the year. So it looks like it might be something they might be doing every year now, at least for a while. So who knows if they'll continue it? But uh, if they do, that's cool. I'll probably buy them yearly. But uh, and that and those and these Beskar bars, the, you know, they have fifty thousand minted of the small ones. But this year, I was able to score the big one. So let's go ahead and zoom out. Look at all those Mandalorian coins, and there is a beauty right there. Twenty dollars, Nui, ten ounce, ten troy ounces. Now this is a solid piece of silver right here. I wish they had actually mass produced these so much that you could buy these for you know, like $2.99 or $3.99 over spot. That would be really cool because I would love to just have a huge stack of these. I just think they're really neat looking. It looks like a silver bar I want to own, you know, to have stacked. <laughs> and these only have a minted, these only had a mintage this year of uh, 3,000. I think last year they had a smaller mintage that was like 2,000 or 2,500 or something. I know they raised the mintage this year a little bit from last year, but not much, not much. So they are hard to get by. I bought this right away on Amex. As soon as it came out, I got the earliest discount pricing you could have. Uh, so... Worked out for me. I don't plan on selling it anyway, but uh, but I figure if I can get if I can save money on it, it's a better deal for me. Let's zoom in and take a look at some of the cool details on this. Got the little uh, symbol there for, for the I think that's what the Empire symbol for Beskar, because this was used as, as their as their currency, right? Their money. So we got, uh, and it comes and it comes in this plastic case, which is really nice. Look at the detail on that. I just love the way it looks. I love the way the bar looks. I like the toning. I think it just looks fantastic. So there you have it. 
that is the whole collection of <laughs> Mandalorian stuff. Let's see if I can zoom back, zoom us back out a little bit. Maybe I can zoom out. No, I can't. It won't let me. So no big deal. No biggie. So we'll take a look at there. We'll enjoy some Beskar while I talk about one other quick thing. So that's the Mandalorian collection. I hope you liked it. But let's talk about my 2K uh, subscriber guy. So I am at now around 1,800 subscribers as of today as of filming of this video, and I want to let you all know that my plan is to do a 2,000 subscriber guy, starting with this video. This is going to be the first video, and I'll, I'm going to run this guy just like I run pretty much all the other giveaways uh, where you have, to com you have to be publicly subscribed. You have to comment on the video. Every video from this one on, I will randomly pick these videos uh, once we hit, once I hit enough subscribers to where I feel that we're solidly over 2k or maybe before, who knows, I might change that up, but I will select people who comment on this video and every video following this one. But my expectation on the comment isn't just, hi, how are you doing? You know, I, I want to know what your favorite coin in the video was or bar, what your favorite piece of silver or gold is in the video that I'm showing off. Uh, if you didn't like any, that's fine. Just say that too. No big deal. If you're not a fan of these and you say, Hey, I don't like any of them. Cool. At least, at least I know you watched the video and that's the count. I want to make sure you're not just coming in and, and doing it. You know, my God, my rules. And I really want people that enjoy this channel, enjoy the silver and the gold that I show off and even the platinum to uh, tell me what they like and what they don't like and what else they want to see. Because uh, I have a very nice collection and you haven't seen, you you all haven't seen a lot of it. I haven't had time to get vi more vi more videos out than maybe one or two once a week or once every other week. Um, as you know, if you follow me on Instagram, I have a brand new puppy. It's been taking all my time. So I barely had time to get this video filmed. She's in a box behind me sleeping. So hopefully she stays asleep and doesn't start whining before this video is over. But she's great and she's taking all my time. So hopefully I can, as she gets a little bit older, I can uh, get back to a regular video production. But in the meantime, she gets all my attention because she is just awesome. And it's a uh, she's a charcoal lab and she's absolutely beautiful. So check out the Instagram and you can see pictures of her. But other than that, let me go ahead and put this down. That is it for the videos today, my friends. I appreciate you as I always do. Let's go ahead and, there we go. Ah, nice and clear. So anyway, like I said, comment on the video, publicly subscribe, tell me which coins was your favorite or, which, or if you didn't like any or any recommendations you have or things you want to see in the future, and I'll be happy to oblige. Uh, thank you all so much. Let's get me to 2000 and let's have fun doing it. So as usual, aloha and mahalo.